Welcome to your Go Market Update, charts of the day for the 28th of June 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Of course, we saw a strong session in US equity markets as major indices all moved higher, gaining really what they'd lost in the previous couple of days as we saw some buying into the dip. US futures are mildly negative in the Asian session. Asian markets are following that. Strong US lead generally, uh, the ASX and the Nikkei, the outperformers, the ASX is up in excess of 1%. At this stage, European futures are pointed to a positive open and the VIX is still trading near three year plus lows. US dollar index was softer overnight but is up in Asia so far. Despite that US dollar weakness, we saw weakness across all commodities. Gold is needed support. Copper dropped again for the fifth straight day of losses and all looks to retest support. We are seeing them hold those levels during the Asian session. Bitcoin tested 31,000 at the back end of last week had a positive session overnight and has moved towards that level once again very important technical level on this particular crypto and worth keeping an eye on over the next couple of days one of the major pieces of news out today so far is the australian cpi was lower than expected and 1.2 percent lower than last month that could obviously impact on the rba's decision making going forward we did see a drop in the australian dollar accordingly and certainly that's helped to keep the asx up in excess of that one percent that we referenced earlier later on we've got german consumer confidence we've got us fed chairman the bank of england governor speeches and we've got bank of japan governor and the ecb chair christine lagarde also speaking later so quite a big day for central banks and to finish the day off we've got us bank stress test report in light of what happened earlier in the year this could be important a couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the ASX, we're liking Adairs. You can see it's been in a sideways trading range since this drop. For about the last three weeks, we see this move back through 142. On today's session, it is good volume. It is trading towards the higher the session as we get close to the last hour and want to certainly keep an eye on over the next day or two. Uh, certainly, as I said, most of the FX action has been in the AUD crosses. You can see here, this is when that inflation number came out, tested the S2 pivot level. We've had a little bit of a recovery since then and over the last couple of hours or so, traded within a range of around about 15 pips. So we're looking for a breach either way of these two blue lines on here. So 95.67 to the upside and 95.54 to the downside. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.